Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. Today, let's talk a bit about conditional formatting in Google Sheets. First of all, we have a pivot table with new and return customers. We have different channels and different years. This table is already good and we can make some conclusion from that, but I would like to make it more obvious for them, for us and um, easier to read. For that, I will use conditional formatting. Let's go to format, conditional formatting. Here I have two options, single color and color scale. Uh, first of all, let's talk about single color. For that, for example, I can go to apply to range and apply to my column B. Uh, I already see that here is empty cells and they're gray, not empty cells uh, green because we have rules is not empty, mark it green. Well, it's simple, but I would like to make a bit more complicated stuff. Let's see which kind of rules do we have. We have empty, not empty, text rules, date rules, and uh, rules for numbers and custom formula. Uh, this is a text column, so let's select text contain and type social. And we can see that all cells with word social became green. I want them make purple with white font. Nice, we already can select our social track. Uh, when we want to add one more rule, we can click to done and we, we can select column B and add another rule. When we selected column, it's already, we already have data range here. Formula, we will use same type of formula text contains and type here search. And for search, we will select blue, dark blue color. Click OK. So we already have different colors for search and social traffic. What we can do with numbers, I select column C and click add another rule. Here we can use um, empty is not empty. Text, um, it does make sense to use this text rules because this is numbers so we can scroll here and check number rules rather than greater than or equal less less than or equal equal and between uh, we can say that if channel brought us less than for example okay less than or equal 300 orders, we will mark them red, that it, it means that uh, we didn't have much orders from these channels, from new customers, because here this column is number of orders from new customers. <coughs> Sorry. So we can use like that, we can work like that. Uh, when we are fine, we can click done and we can add another rule to data range. You can even type it here if you like. Mm. And we can select is between. Uh, and here we use if we have from 300 to 700 orders, uh, it's it's so 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 let's mark them yellow and click OK. In this case, we can see yellow cells for uh, rows when we have a um, certain amount of orders. Uh, it's already really nice because we can see so this uh, red is not good, yellow is fine, and same using the same logic, we can use green color. Again, for this column C, we can use green color if greater than or equal 700, it will be green. That is it. 
you already can see that which channel brought us good amount of orders and which is not and if it is not we can think how can we work about how can we work with them or should we work with them or maybe it is maximum for this channel and our table became e uh, more easier to read also we can use scales it's easier select column d add another rule color scale uh, here we have some rules predefined rules uh, from green to red in this case green is small I think I want opposite um, bum, bum, bum. we don't have opposite but we can change it here we can change this to red uh, this to green and see that okay 100% is its maximum right but uh, what can we how can we play around here we have different types of minimum value we can use minimum value number percent or percentile percent and percentile a bit different um, percentile is from statistic and if you're interested in it, i recommend you to read about percentile a bit um, here we can use specific number for example if number is zero it is bad or 0 0.1 0 0.1 it is it should be 10 percent it is red if our number is 0 0.2 4 it will be yellow and maximum value number is 0 0.8 it is green okay we don't have so big numbers usually we have we should create something smaller here like something like that because we have really small percentage we have three five so it should be kind of zero five and two and uh, zero zero yeah it's more relevant so we can play around with these numbers and uh, find uh, which options is will work for us in our case you can see uh, here we have percentage because of that I, I cannot type here percentage I can type here exact numbers and 5% it is 0 0.05 so this is the moment about percentage uh, we can use this I like to use exact numbers to have more control but it is not necessary for some data ranges it is fine to use minimum value percent and percentile um, depend on your case and here we can see already scale here we have only three colors and we set up them separately and here we have only one rule um, it, it is a bit more complicated to set up but hmm, in the result we have more than three colors we have five different colors and uh, this scale um, and you can work like that with every column column for example I want to add same rule for column F in this case I can click to select data range add another data range and select column F that is it this rule applies to column F as well also I can just type it here like column ash as well so we apply the same rule for different columns. Uh, when you work with conditional formatting, I don't recommend you to use like really bright colors. So I prefer to use something really light uh, to see maybe the difference is not so big. Um, but I think when you have a lot of columns in the table, I prefer to use lighter colors or even you can use gray gray colors or one color scale for example like like this 
Now we can come back. Kind of like that. Please play around. I think conditional formatting is a really good tool to improve your work with Google Sheets and make your data more interesting and easier to read. Uh, test it. Let me know how it work. It works for you. And hope to see you soon and show you more tips and tricks about Google Sheets and Booker Studio.